All right, fishy folks. I really have no idea where I am in Japan. Uh, I'm about an hour and a half from Tokyo Northwest. Maybe an hour. About an hour and a half from where I normally stay in Ota. And uh, I found this, this fish store online. And it looked like it was uh, pretty big, but it's, it's kind of small. But it's very busy and it's cramped, so let's go inside and take a look. I try not to get people, of course, but I don't know. First, before we go inside, some little hardscaping pieces, more wood, fake pond plants, lots of food. Of course, Akari is the big brand. And then there's Tetra. <laughs> Guppy Tetra. Comet. We're gonna have to look at that. Akari Guppy food. Predator food. I'm gonna have to come and take a look again, see if there's anything I want. Bed of food, pleco food, lots of little tanks. I'm gonna have to skip this aisle, too many people in it. Shrimp stuff, filters and hardware, water conditioners. Looks like heaters and thermometers, airline. It's like a pretty big tank for Japan. <coughs> I'm fine. China filters. That's a big one. Wow, I've never seen one that big before. Scott, you making a joke? Anyway. Yeah, all in Japanese, made in China, right there. It's a big China filter. I should probably buy media for my Japanese box filters while I'm here, if I can find them. And some more media. These are the filters that I like from Japan. There's the parts I need. 600 yen, about six bucks. I might buy some more smaller filters as well just to have. I like having extras. Um, here's something I kind of might buy. So when you feed like frozen brine shrimp or frozen bloodworms, I defrost it and then I, you know, I pour it in and sometimes I pour too much. This might help with that. Lots of media and things. Of course, ADA tanks. Crystal clear. Wow, that's a pretty cool looking tank. 23 bucks. That's actually not bad for that tank. It's glass. It's heavier than I thought it was going to be. Alright, let's see if we can't sneak down. We'll peek here. Little tubs. Little shrimp tanks. Bigger tanks. 150 bucks for that set. Comes with an LED though. And a filter. And when I walked in, I asked if they speak English because I won't always want to ask if I can film, and no, no English, not even a little. So, all right, we got some fishies, but it's really crowded. So, there are some angels. Those are re the floor is wet too. Those are some really nice ones. About forty bucks for one. Notice how they have the catapa leaves in there, making it dark. Right, we got some neons down there, some more neons, some smaller angels, and a little pleco. Some more black angels. Oh, I just tripped. Sorry, guys. And. 
some of those fish. What are those guys? Let me know. Big sponge filters in the back. A heater. Looks like there's a canister filter as well, which is sort of interesting. All right, gonna move on. Looks like rams maybe. Hey, look at these. They're albino though, red eyes. Can't stand them. Kuhaku swordtails. And a pleco. And I don't have no idea what that is. Warmies. Uh -oh, looks like we got a dead one stuck to the filter, maybe. And some autos, some more platies. Lots of wood everywhere. <laughs> They've got wood. I see guppies. Hey, go hanasi maska? Watashi wa nihongo wo skoshi hanasi maska. Skoshi. So we have some guppies. Nice looking mutts. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'd like to take some home, but probably can't. Looks like they're doing water changes here. That is spectacular. Oh, I missed some tanks. There you go, Ryan. There's some discus for you. And some angels. Alright. Let's see, what did I miss? Oh. A whole aquascaping aisle, of course. I'll come back. There's some plants. I'll try to come back. Sorry for moving so fast, guys. There's a typical goldfish tank. Couple little goldfish escaped. I don't know, was that 10 gallons or so? All right. There's some stock. Some plecos, really tiny plecos. More albino plecos that look really nice. Some tetras, more tetras. <laughs> I thought that was a tail of something. It's not. <laughs> rummy nose. I like me some rummy nose. <coughs> I'm fine. Molly's. Shrimp. Fried shrimp. Garlic shrimp. Shrimp scampi. Yeah, I know. I'm silly. What are you going to do? Lots of good looking stock here. Some platies, a lot of lime bearers. I don't usually see so many lime bearers. Some pea puffers. More lime bearers there, some more puffers. Hey. And there's quite a bit, oh, look at this. Oxalotls. Little crayfish. Alright, we got a person in the way, so we're gonna 
I'm gonna turn around without making you guys sick, I hope. Take a look at some of the other fish. What are those? Little warmies, maybe? I don't know. Some turtles. Always see turtles. They're pretty cool. There are those little filters that I like so much. How about that? Huh. Let's check out what's over here. Some lizards. So oh, actually that's a turtle right there. And there's something on the stick. And there's some more. If only I read Japanese, I could tell you what it was. I should learn Japanese just so I could do these videos better. Alright, here's your typical tank you see here in Japan. Except big problem that's something I've never seen before wow I wish they spoke English so they could tell me what happened we got the goldies that's for you Don and Nisi goldfish lovers all right Ooh. hiya how you doing It's not focusing. I think Jimmy messed with my camera and now I can't focus. There's some more nice guppies. And shrimp. Lots of little shrimp. Alright. Some little discus. More discus, angels, and a pleco. And discus, and an arowana, and another arowana. And I don't know what that white fish is, but the thing is pretty creepy looking. All right. Let's see what's behind us. Just a mishmash of tank size. It's kind of like an American fish store. Not something I usually see here. I kind of like it though. Everyone's trying to get out of my way, which is nice, but I feel like I'm in their way. Here's another typical setup in Japan, even with the smoke. Pretty special. I'm gonna try to get out of this guy's way. And I basically just got in his way. Couple snails, three or four hundred. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is over here. This whole wall is guppies and cool stuff. Half blacks, actually looks like black Moscows. And those are females half, oh, that look half black. Look at that little pleco. How about this discus? Stand by. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. It's beautiful. Look at this, this guppy with the iridescent tail. That's, that's pretty special, that thing right there. All right, some shrimp and some albino guppies. Lots of shrimp, lots of guppies. I like it. Oh boy, stand by. Of course it won't focus. Jimmy! Killing me. I blame Jimmy, but it's my fault. I don't know how to use my fancy camera. I'm telling you, these are spectacular. All right, fishy folks. 
what was I supposed to show you? Oh, parrots. How about some parrots? Want to see some parrots? Huh, and how about that? <laughs> Pretty interesting. All those fish in that tank. All right, fishy folks, let's see what else. No cichlids, no Africans at least. Some bettas. It's pretty nice. All right, fishy folks, I think that's about it for the tour. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. <clears throat> Leave a comment below. Subscribe, like, share. Love me.